Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. In this episode, let me show you how to record audio coming out of another application. So I get asked this question quite a bit. How do you record audio coming out of one application into another application? So say for instance you're playing a game and you want to record the audio from it inside of say GarageBand or Audacity. Well you can't do that normally. You can only select a microphone or an audio input. But by using the Soundflower extension you can actually redirect audio from one application into another. So the first thing you need to do is download Soundflower from this URL and install it. And once you do that your next step is to go into System Preferences. You don't see a mention of Soundflower right away but you have to go into Sound and here you have Outputs and Inputs. And Normally your output would be sent to either internal speakers or line out. But you'll see that Soundflower appears here twice. We only need the two channel version. And this basically means instead of sending the sound to your speakers it's going to send the sound into Soundflower. So now you won't hear anything but it will all be going into this internal device. Now in GarageBand let's create a simple uh, recording document here. And then once we have that and it's open we can then select an input device for one of the channels. So I'll create a new channel here. A new track. And I'm going to set it up as a real instrument. I'm going to go to GarageBand Preferences and I'm going to set the audio input into GarageBand to Soundflower. And then once I do that I'll be able to see it as the input for this track here. So I've got the input source here and I can set it to the stereo Soundflower getting both channels. Now here I am with the game running and you can see that there's uh, there's audio playing but you can't hear it. If I go into GarageBand I could see here that there's audio coming in and I can actually record that audio and see it coming in there. It's not my voice talking. That's the audio coming out from uh, the game Gold Strike and going into GarageBand via Soundflower. Now I'm going to test it out, go back to System Preferences, set it to line out again so I can hear the audio. And now in GarageBand I'm going to play what's there and I'll be able to hear the music. Now it would be great if you could actually hear what it is you're recording. And you can do that using Soundflower Bed which is in the Applications folder under Soundflower after you install it. Uh, you run that and it will put this menu bar item up here and you can tell it to put the Soundflower output into the regular line out uh, of your Mac. So you basically can be routing the sound from your Mac into Soundflower then picking it up in something like GarageBand or Audacity and also be sending it to the speakers so you can hear what's going on. Now you can also do this using Wiretap Studio which you can get here. And this takes a slightly different approach. So here's Wiretap Studio and you can see that you've got this recording panel that floats above everything else but also it includes this whole library system here. So you can record directly in Wiretap Studio. It's not just a sound redirect that you set in your preferences. So for instance if I were to run Gold Strike now and it would start to play its theme music I could hit record and it would record exactly what's playing on the Mac and you can see that there's something coming in there. Then I could quit that out, stop, and you can see I got the recording right in here. I could play it back. So it handles a lot more than just simply redirecting sound. But the difference is that Soundflower is free, whereas Wiretap Studio is $69. So it probably depends on your needs. If you just need to record something here and there or one time, Soundflower is probably the way to go. Whereas if this is something you really need to do pretty often and you want a very elegant solution for it, then Wiretap Studio is probably what you want. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.